So you screwed up. You had that huge assignment or essay that was given to you way at the beginning of the month. And when you got it, you thought, why would I start it now? I have a couple weeks left. There are way important tasks that need my attention, like the new season of Stranger Things. So you push it off first a week, then another week, then yet another week, until you have just a few days left until the assignment or midterm is due. And yet you still procrastinate because your best friend invited you to a party tonight and you can't miss that, right? They're your best friend. You need to support them and relationships are what really matter in life anyway, right? Now it's 8 p.m. You're sitting down at your desk and the procrastination demon is breathing down your neck. You have just a few hours left. What the hell are you supposed to do now? I'm sure you guys have seen video upon video from other productivity YouTubers about instant gratification, why procrastination actually happens. But no one talks about what to do when you've actually procrastinated yourself into a corner. That's why in this video, I'm going to explain exactly how to finish an assignment or study for a test last minute. Because for most people, procrastination is inevitable and will happen to everyone at some point. This video is the solution. How I learn new knowledge quickly and apply it as fast as possible as a computer science student. Let's begin. You guys have all probably seen dozens dozens of videos on active recall and spaced repetition, and why these two techniques are the gold standard when it comes to learning new information for the long term. However, when you have just a few hours left, the system kind of breaks down. First of all, you have no time for spaced repetition. It's now or never. You can't afford to learn something over weeks and slowly practice it 20 times. Since spaced repetition has gone out the window, active recall becomes even more important. Basically, you need to dive straight into testing yourself. Normally, when you learn something, you do so slowly over a few weeks and only apply when it's really sunk in by doing homework or working through practice problems. But now you don't have time for that slow, casual learning. You need to jump straight into the assignment and learn it on the fly. If you have something to finish like homework or a project, don't waste time learning the material beforehand. Start doing the first problem and hope to God you know what the question is discussing. I'll usually have my textbook or notes open right next to me. And whenever I see a term in the question that sounds familiar to me, I'll jump straight to that section in the book and skim through it, trying to quickly understand the material. Let the questions guide your learning. You don't have time to do anything else whatsoever. There's no room for context, just the essentials. If you're cramming for an exam instead of finishing an assignment, your strategy should be similar. Ideally, you'll find a practice test, review guide, or prior exam. These will be as close as possible to the midterm or final you're studying for. Then just dive into those problems without worrying about learning the content beforehand. Like your assignment, you have the textbook open right in front of you or on your computer, and hopefully you can use the appendix or command F to scan for terms and jump right to that section. Another huge help is going to be Google. If you can't find the information in your lecture notes or textbook, literally start Googling terms or even the problem itself. You'll be surprised at how quickly you find the material just by clicking through a few Google pages. Once you find a few websites with the context of the question, try skimming through them to quickly understand what they're talking about. Then try to solve the problem. In the case you still can't figure out how to do it, you might have to sit down and do some old fashioned cramming to learn the content. When this happens, my top resource is YouTube or Khan Academy. Just search whatever topic you're trying to learn on YouTube and just start going down the list. The key here is to download the Chrome extension video speed controller and start watching everything at two to three times speed. This app is a godsend. You simply don't have time to watch some Indian dude talk about hash tables for 40 minutes straight. You need to speed run through it at 3x speed. I also spam that arrow key to quickly skip through content that I already understand or isn't essential. Timestamps are also really useful to use when you're cramming like this. And please, for the love of God, do not slowly take handwritten multicolored aesthetic notes while doing this. I don't understand what people's fascination is with artistic notes. Like this isn't graphic design class. You're trying to learn the information as fast as possible, not produce a work of art. There will be some occasions where you can use your notes in the exam. And in that case, you should definitely take them. My chosen technique for this is to have Notion open on one side of the screen with the lecture open on the other. And normally I will just screenshot important information and paste it into the document. I love the MacBook command control shift four because it takes a screenshot snippet and puts it in my clipboard, which allows me to easily paste it in my notes. Okay. So aside from methods used to learn content last minute, what are some good ways to Stay focused while you're rushing to get something done. First of all, the best techniques are going to vary based on what kind of person you are. Some people are super energetic all the time. These people tend to suffer from distraction more than anything else. As soon as they start working, their mind quickly wanders and they soon find themselves scrolling through YouTube or TikTok. It's not really getting started that's difficult. It's the fact that literally anything else in their surroundings quickly breaks their focus. The other kind of person tends to be super low energy. They usually end up laying around and doing nothing rather than even starting the assignment. This person struggles with getting that initial activation energy to even begin. If you're a super high energy and easily distractible person, this is what you should do. Leave your phone in a different room and clear your visual space of as many distractions as possible. The more clean and simple your environment, the better. You can't afford to have a messy desk with your Nintendo Switch on one side and Instagram open on the other. Going to the library during your last minute work session can be really helpful because libraries are intentionally set up to be as 
for better or worse, boring as possible. There's not loud music, flashing lights, people talking all around you. It's perfect for avoiding distraction. If you're a low energy person, you need to do the exact opposite. You need to make your environment as energizing as possible. One great way to do this is to go to a coffee shop. On college campuses, a lot of them are open really late for this exact reason. Even better, you bring a friend and you both work on something that's due very soon. A high energy person would probably get distracted by their friend and talk to them the entire time. But a low energy person would really benefit from that additional presence. Listening to music can also help. Good instrumental music can make working a little bit more fun without being so engaging that it completely distracts you. I normally listen to film scores or relaxing piano music. There's this website, brain.fm, that has endless music to play in the background as you're working. And you can even change it based on genre to fit how you're feeling during a work session. I actually tend to vary between being high energy and low energy, and I know a lot of people are like this as well. Some days I'm so activated that literally everything distracts me, and other days I can't even get the motivation to get off the couch. Other than environment design, taking a few minutes to plan your last minute work session can be really helpful. This is gonna vary based on how much time you have left to complete the assignment or study for the test. If you have a few days, great. You have time to cover everything and plan breaks in between. I usually go for 45 minute chunks with a five to 10 minute break plan in between with a specific goal to achieve during the end of each work session. So I know what I'm aiming for every time. During my breaks, I like to go for a brief walk or take a nap. You want to avoid doing anything that captures your full attention or focus. For example, even though I do this on occasion, you shouldn't immediately whip out your phone and start scrolling social media during your break. Social media is designed with super novel pictures and flashy colors to be as engaging as possible. If you spend your break watching TikToks, whatever you do afterwards is going to seem boring as hell and you're not going to want to do it. This is why that one anime Doro technique really doesn't work. If you spend your breaks watching your favorite anime show, you're going to be completely captured by that and you won't be able to focus afterwards. The goal is to make your breaks more boring than studying, so you're actually tempted to go back and dive into your work. That's why on my break walks, I try not to listen to an audiobook or podcast because that's obviously way more entertaining than coding. And I'm just going to end up doing that for an hour instead of working. If you only have a few hours left before your assignment is due, well, you probably don't have time for serious breaks. In this case, longer work sessions are better, but don't go over 90 minutes without putting at least a 10 minute break in between. I love 20 minute naps during long work days because they really give me energy and help me refocus without feeling lethargic or tired. If you're interested in how I manage my time during a regular day as a computer science student and software engineering intern, you can watch this video right here. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. A like would be incredible and I will see you in the next video.